Hi there, in this video I'm going to show how to install Moodle on CentOS 7. This is part of a series of videos which I've made, so I'll link the relevant ones below which include how to install CentOS, how to install MariaDB and how to install Apache which will get you up to this point. So let's get started. First I'm going to log into my CentOS server here. Perfect, so I'm in. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to download and install PHP. So sudo yum install php enter your password when prompted and click enter okay and we're going to click yes on this to download what we need okay perfect so php is down so next thing we're going to get we're going to get git so sudo yum install git and click enter i'll also put all these commands down below so you have them handy so you can just copy and paste them in as you go. So we can see here that Git's installing down for us now and it should hopefully be done in a second. Perfect, it is. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna CD into the Apache document root. So CD space forward slash var forward slash dub 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 forward slash HTML. Perfect. Now we're going to uh, clone Moodle. So sudo git clone git colon forward slash forward slash git dot moodle dot org forward slash moodle dot git and click return so we can see now we're cloning to moodle and what i'm going to do is i'll pause the video here while this does its thing okay we can see that this is completed now if you have any issues or has completed be sure to comment below so the next command I'm going to type in is git space branch minus a. Oh, excuse me. First we need to cd into Moodle. I'll press the up arrow, up arrow twice to get that command back and do git branch minus a and we can see our branches here. Okay, so now we're going to track the Moodle tree one branch. So to do that, I'm going to type in sudo git branch minus minus track moodle underscore tree one underscore stable space origin o r i g i n forward slash Moodle underscore tree one underscore stable. Okay, so we've done that now. So now we're going to check out that branch. So sudo git checkout Moodle underscore tree one underscore stable and click return. Okay, brilliant. So we've done that now. So now the next thing we need to do is we need to edit our Apache config file. So I'm going to do that by typing sudo vi etc httpd conf httpd.conf. Again, I'll copy and paste all these commands below so you just copy them in as you go. I'll also make a video on vi showing you how to use it. Okay, so now we just need to look for our document root. In here so I'll just scroll down in the Apache config file until I find it and here it is here I'll click I to go into insert mode and set our document root as Moodle and I'll press escape colon W Q to write and quit out of that and now I am just going to restart Apache so type in sudo service HTTP D restart oh, excuse me Okay, so Apache's restarted. So now let's take up our browser and point it at the IP address of the machine that your CentOS server resides on, or if you're doing it all in one server type in localhost. So I'll just click return here, and you can see I now have the Moodle installation prompt. Perfect, so I'm going to click next here. Okay, so it's looking for a few bits and pieces data directory I'm going to change this and put it out in home Moodle data okay so I'm just going to minimize this and I'm going to go back to my system and I'm going to do sudo 
mkdir for make directory home moodle data okay that's done next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to give apache ownership of that folder so i'll do sudo ch own apache apache minus r for recursive home moodle data perfect and next i am going to allow apache uh, to write to that within sc linux so i'm going to type in sudo chcon minus minus type space httpd underscore sys underscore rw underscore content underscore t home moodle data perfect so we've done that now so let's go back to our firefox window and click next here perfect so we're on to the next screen so now we're going to select MariaDB because that's the database we're using and click next okay so now we need to do some settings on the database so database is localhost as i'm using the one server for everything database name is moodle that's fine i'm just gonna call my user moodle user i was gonna put a password password one two three obviously if you were using this on your own system you should use a password that's more secure so i'm just gonna minimize this now and go back to my server and i'm gonna type in my sql minus u root minus p so you need to now enter your uh, MariaDB password and we're in. So first thing I'm going to do is I am going to create the database. So I'm going to create that by typing in create database Moodle. Okay, now that we've created the database, we just need to grant access on that database to that Moodle user. So I'm going to type in grant all on Moodle full stop star space to space single quote Moodle user single quote at single quote local host single quote space identified by space quote let's say password one two three quote and semicolon perfect so that looks like it's done so now let's go back to our browser here and click next okay so we're missing the my sqli extension so let's go back to our centos server exit out mariadb by clicking exit and do sudo yum install php minus my sqli type in your password if prompted and we can see it's being to fetch it down okay and then just click y to accept that and we can see that's down there okay so we might just need to reload apache just to make sure it's picked up that so do sudo service httpd reload perfect okay back to our browser here and click next okay so it's saying it can create the uh, config.php file so what we can do is just copy the text in the box here go back to your centos server do sudo vi var dub 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 html moodle and type in config.php type i for insert and right click to paste that in click escape colon w q explanation mark for w quit so that's done for us now so let's go back to our browser and click next okay you should now see the uh, copyright notice so if you agree with that click continue okay so we can see we're getting a few warnings and errors on php extensions 
So what I'm going to do is I will go back to my CentOS server now. And I'm going to cut rather than type all these out, I'm going to copy and paste them in here. And I'll also put these down below so you can see them. So we can see sudo yum install php minus gd minus dom minus xml reader minus mb string minus xml rpc minus soap and intel and then click enter. Oh, excuse me. Capital S. And we can see it's gone off to fetch. I'm going to click yes on this. And it will pull down the bits and pieces that we need. Okay, so now I'm going to reload Apache again by typing sudo service httpd reload. Perfect, so let's go back to our browser now and we're going to reload this page. Okay, and we can see those warnings are gone with the exception of OP cache, but we can leave that for the time being. PHP is all fine now, but now we're having some issues with our database. So it's just um, settings on the database that we need to change to ensure that Moodle will work. So I'm going to minimize the browser again. going to type in my SQL minus U root minus P. Type in my password. I'm going to set these settings. So I'm going to type in set global inno db underscore file underscore format equals barracuda b a r r a c u d a and finish that off with a semicolon no oh, i must i have a typo here okay so i am just missing the l here so let's do that perfect that's done so i'm just going to press up to bring that up i'm going to come back here and set global inno db file underscore per underscore table equals on semicolon perfect and i'm just going to press up again go back to inno db underscore and type in large underscore prefix equals on and click semicolon and return Perfect, so now let's go back to our browser and reload this page here. Okay, so we can see all looks okay now and those uh, database errors are gone. So let's click continue. And once you click continue now, Moodle will start to install. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video here again while we let Moodle install. Okay, we can see this looks good. So I'm going to click continue. And it should move on now to the next page. Okay, so you'll need just to give your username for the admin. I'm going to say Darren. You'll need to give a password. Now note the password needs to be at least eight characters. Have one digit, one lowercase, one uppercase, and one non-alphanumeric character. So I'm going to type in mine here. Okay, so we can see um, the connection is not secure. In another video, I'll show how to secure Moodle using OpenSSL. So when we're done, let's click Update Profile. Oh, I forgot to put in an email address, so test at test.com. And click Update Profile. Okay, so you'll now be prompted for some further settings. I'm going to say Darren's test site. Darren, for a short name for the site, I'm going to click Save Changes. You can save, you can change all these at a later stage as well. And that's it. Moodle is now installed on CentOS 7.